What's going on, folks? Anders Larsson here, and uh, today I would like to discuss long term rentals. And rental properties are not truly passive income. I have created a small video clip using an awesome web app that makes video creation so much quicker and simpler. So, the video that you're watching right now is created using this web app. The reason I'm sharing this is because I know you are probably here because you're looking to make some extra money online. So far you might be only researching, but I know this is a trap because there are so many options to choose from and some people just want to bait you into buying something that requires a lot of experience to work. I know this because this happened to me and if you mention what you're doing in different communities then you can be sure that some people will send you a PM, a private message, recommending you different things that you are going to need in order to improve your success or be successful at all. But anyway, what I do is very simple thanks to this program. And I'm talking about the video application. All you need to do is create a script, maybe have someone write it for you, and then you feed it to this web app and it will spit out a video. It definitely is super quick. However, this will only allow you to make some extra pocket money. When I started in 2019, I realized I needed a real solution that could solve my financial situation. And I was really looking for it because of my previous failures. I asked for help because nothing worked for me. And I got recommended by someone that had real success online to use the same solution that she used. And thanks to her recommendation, I joined a program that a lot of people have success with. And I got an amazing education in digital marketing and so much confidence to finally throw away all the things that didn't work and begin my journey as a YouTube influencer. My success is increasing as a result of this decision. At the end of the video, I will reveal how I make money online. But now it's time for my friend Fiona to take over and discuss rental properties. Is it truly passive income? All right, Fiona, it's your turn. Thank you, Anders. Another option to get passive income is through investing in real estate. If they are situated in an area with a strong rental market, long-term rentals can be a solid source of income. However, they come with long-term stressors such as upkeep, numerous mortgage payments, property tax obligations, and other expenses. Another option is to concentrate on short-term rentals through a website like Airbnb, which depends on a constant stream of tourists passing through your region. Alternately, start small and rent out a single room in your home to start funding your rental empire. True passive income does not come from rental properties. The idea of passive income suggests that you did nothing to earn the money. Comparable to winning the lottery whether you worked at it or not, you can sit back and watch the money roll in each month. True passive income would be that. It's a phrase that's frequently used in the marketing industry, when individuals try to persuade you that the next big work from home opportunity would generate passive income. Ha! Huh. Not all real estate is passive. In reality, I'd say it's active the majority of the time for rental properties. If you own homes and rent them out, you must collect rent, keep the home clean, remedy any damage, make repairs while tenants are there, and be available at all times, otherwise you risk becoming a sort of control figure for their careless behavior. If the tenants damage your property, you can keep their meager deposit, but you'll have to spend thousands more to repair the damage. You continue to make a house payment even if the house is vacant for a period because there is no income. Yes, that is passive. Almost usually, the amount of work required to own rental properties ends up being greater than anticipated. Don't bother if you aren't willing to invest a lot of sweat equity, your valuable time spent fixing and rebuilding. Naturally, you could employ someone to handle all of that for you but doing so would significantly reduce your profits, and with the margins they require, you'd be lucky to even break even. Because of this, it stands to reason that rental properties are not passive and require considerable maintenance and care in order to maintain consistently livable conditions. Before investing your hard-earned money in this project, do yourself a favor and conduct some research. All right, over to you, Anders. Thank you, Fiona. I appreciate you sharing this video. 
All right. I hope you guys like the video I created using this awesome video tool. If that is the case, don't forget to look at the link in the comment section. All right. So in 2019, I joined a system that I have been using ever since. Before 2019, I didn't trust any online marketer who talked about different business opportunities. I already knew that internet gurus were full of crap. And even today I can say with certainty that the majority of marketing content available online was produced by unsuccessful marketers. I am aware that you are most likely watching this video to discover how to earn money online. So you are trying to sort through all the noise and find a quick and easy solution. I know because I was that guy. I knew it would take me time to figure out how to implement a method and I wasn't prepared to invest any resources. I think that is wise and I recommend people be very careful and skeptical. The problem with that is that people never trust anyone because of the frequent scams that are going on. Scammers and online gurus monopolize the quick and easy strategies well, the marketing of it at least. I know for sure that quick and easy doesn't make money. If something was really quick and easy, wouldn't it make sense that everyone would rush to it and find ways to automate it? I mean, this is what makes more sense than ever before. And this is why I have always been skeptical. Before 2019, I struggled. I really struggled. And lost more and more motivation because I failed at everything. Quick and easy, ta-da! The last project was an attempt to model what online marketers do. I tried Clickbank and I promoted a piano course. I didn't know how to play the piano and I still don't. But I did learn some things and made short video lessons to encourage people to take full length piano course. And that was a low ticket affiliate product that I was promoting. The full length piano course. Then people on YouTube recommended I try paid ads. In short, it was a disaster. I lost a lot of money. And I made a very small commission. But the uh, money that I lost was way more than I earned. The low ticket commission from Clickbank stinks. So when I failed, I posted comments on YouTube asking for help. A woman that seemed to have real engagement and success dedicated a video to my failure. But why would someone go through all that trouble just for me? However, it makes sense if you think about it because this was a real gold nugget for her to educate her subscribers. And I learned so much from it. She talked about using high ticket products and earning a thousand dollar commissions. Yes, but how can I get someone to pay a lot of money for something? I got a value ladder as an answer. A value ladder. That blowed my mind. So this is what I learned. If people could start out with a low cost training that gave them the tools they needed to be successful, why wouldn't they eventually move up to more expensive trainings once they started getting results. Scammers and spammers can't access anything on that platform since they don't want to invest time and money learning new abilities. That makes perfect sense, right? Even better, I don't have to sell the high ticket products. This is taken care of for me by the systems, coaches and sales team. My only job is to recommend people to get started with this system for a very affordable price of $7. Because of this, I use this system and haven't switched to something else. If you are interested in checking it out, I will leave a link in the description. This will bring you to a page containing a red button. If you don't want to sign up for my free video training, then click the red button and on the next page you can get started with the system I'm using. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Why not click the like button if you learned something useful? You are greatly assisting my YouTube channel and helping me becoming more visible by doing so. If you want more videos like this, 
then please subscribe and click the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos. Hey, keep being awesome, take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.